What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Zoe here if you're new and today I'm back with another video and I'm so freaking excited because I have a brand new pair of extensions that I'm going to show you guys. Um, I've been using the same clip-in extensions for about two years now. I'm giving old and crusty but true glory here and gave me a brand new set of clip-in extensions which I'm so excited about. If you guys know me you know I love clip-ins. My hair is definitely on the thinner side so I love to add clip-ins to just add a little bit more volume. My other ones are pretty much the same length as my actual hair but the clip-ins that I have today are a little bit longer. Okay so we're definitely going to be having a little bit more of a look. In order to put these in and start styling them I do need to straighten my hair so I don't want to take up too much of your time doing that so I'm gonna straighten my hair off camera and then I'm gonna come back in and we can apply the clip-ins and style them and see how they look um, and I also wanted to shout out true glory for sending me these eyelashes get into them they look so hot or straight my hair definitely subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you be notified every time I upload a video so I did straighten my hair off camera it is a little bit on the oily side I did do an olive oil treatment to get a certain product out of my hair over the weekend um, and I thought I washed it out all the way but I didn't so hopefully that does not affect how they are going to install today. I've done a clip-in tutorial on my channel before, but I am gonna redo it today. They're pretty self-explanatory, but you know, if you are new to the clip-in game, girl, I got you today. So before I get into the actual application, I did want to talk about the brand itself, um, and I did want to say thank you, True Glory Hair, for sending me the hair today. Um, it comes with this cute pamphlet, and I don't know if this is the owner. If this is the owner, girl, you're beautiful, but essentially it comes with a whole care pamphlet and when i tell you guys this is detail oriented like it's giving cvs receipt length okay she came with the details and all of the tips so you can never be confused about how to take care of your hair which i think is amazing for a brand so the pamphlet itself comes with um tips for before you install during the install um whatever type of hair you got uh, whether it's straight body wave loose wave or deep kiki curly so the part that talks about the lifespan and it gives you care instructions for daily every two weeks and every four to six weeks as well as bedtime care and then on the back of it it lists a few products that uh they personally recommend for taking care of the hair in a whole chart. Honestly, out of all of the hair companies that I've ever worked with, this is pretty much the most informative, detail-oriented. They really took their time to make sure that you are, you know, taking care of the hair all right. Our body wave clip-ins, they are 18 inches, so it gives a pretty decent length. And the clip-ins come with nine pieces, which are pretty good for clip-in extensions. Honestly, you don't usually get a full nine. It's usually like seven. So they give you a lot of pieces. They give you, so I think it comes with with two five clips, three of the three clips, two of the two clips, and two of the one clips. So you have a lot of options to be able to fill up your hair. I'll show you guys how I install these and then I will style them for you and we will see what the final product looks like. So to start off with the two clip, I'm gonna put it at the base of my neck right here. Um, honestly, I have nails right now, so I'm gonna, just gonna use my nails to kind of separate my hair, but you can use the rat tooth comb. It's just really up to personal preference. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little messy when I put in my clip-ins. I don't personally need a full straight part. Um, some people that would bother them. Me on the other hand, I don't really care. So I separated it on my neck like this, as you can see. And I'm gonna just take the top part of my hair and clip it up. All right, and then I'm gonna take my comb and I'm gonna kind of tease the top part of my hair just so that the extension can uh, stay in my head a little bit longer. Especially when you have like thinner hair, you wanna tease it a little bit just to make sure that they don't slip throughout the day. All right, so I teased it and then I'm gonna un unsnap these obviously. And then I'm basically just gonna put it, let me tuck right on, hopefully you guys can see this. And just to make sure it's as tight as possible, I like to go kind of at where I almost stab the back of my neck and then drag down the comb just to make sure that it's like as tight as possible and then as you can see now I have clip in number one in then this next one I'm gonna put in the three clip extension and I like to do it pretty close to the other one, especially when I'm putting in a lot in my head, like I don't create that much gap space. 
See, I like to put a very, very thin layer of hair. It's almost non-existent. Like you could probably still see the extra track. Um, and I like to do that just so I can give myself a decent amount of hair on my head because my head's very small. All right, so the next one I'm about to put in the big boy, which I've never put in a five clip extension before. So this is gonna be new. Um, this one legit, I believe, is gonna go all the way around my head. Like it's even gonna, it's gonna stop right here. So for this one, I'm gonna give a little bit more space just cause I am only putting three in the back and then the two small ones up front. It's giving um, Amy Winehouse, RIP, amazing woman. This is definitely giving her hairstyle. I have all of the clips that I plan on putting in in my hair. Um, as of right now, I don't mind it. I definitely need to style it my only fear is one the color and two i just don't want the ends of it to seem thin because my hair stops like right here right now the actual clips themselves they feel very very secure they feel very sturdy and quality like they don't feel you know cheap or that they're going to start slipping and i didn't even tease all of my hair um so that says something they're not too crazy bulky i think the only ones that i'm nervous about are the two single ones right here um, but they feel really really comfortable in the back like they don't feel Like I wear extensions all the time, so I know what they feel like but to me they don't feel uncomfortable Like they don't feel like I am wearing something on my head that I don't want in there um, So I'm about to heat up my curling iron so that we can add some you know Texture and body, but I like it. I love me with long hair. I think I'm so cute with long hair So I'm I'm loving it so far. I'm going to speed up this process So you guys don't have to sit here and really watch it all because it's pretty boring and self-explanatory Loosen it a little bit because they are a little tight at the bottom. Okay, you guys, so this is the final product. I think it came out so freaking pretty. So, on the actual hair itself, the actual hair is really, really soft, it's really nice, it blends pretty well with my actual hair. The only difference is a slight color difference. See, is I wish the ends of them were just a tiny bit thicker just because I do think that it gets kind of thin right here just because my hair stops right here. I really do like the quality of the extensions. Definitely want to give a big, big thank you to True Glory Hair for sending me these clip-ins. I cannot wait to use them over and over and over again. So I'm really happy with it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And yes, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.